I know I've been here about two hours today so far, and I've been stopped at least 100 times probably. I know that for a fact because my sister was counting. At Reed Pop, we run 12 events, you know, in the pop culture space, but New York Comic Con is the biggest, most exciting. It was the first event we launched. It's sort of the closest to our heart. We are the second largest event in New York City. It's the New York Marathon and us. This year will be about 117,000 people, which is insane. I've been coming from, since 2006. I was a little embarrassed at first. I came in regular street clothes. Then I just started getting a little courage, coming in dressed. We have a, a mutual uh, acquaintance, and we met through Facebook. There were just so many similarities right. between the two of us. Once we were getting to know each other, it was, he just decided you know, that he, he, he wanted to meet up with me, and here we are. I've been going to Comic-Cons since 2003, and I've never been to one as my real self. I've always cosplayed. He wouldn't show up in like shorts and a tank top if you worked for Goldman Sachs, you know? You're coming to the con, you know, to a certain percentage of the population. You gotta dress up or you're just, you're not living it, man. My name is Vanessa Perrin. I'm a mechanical angel. I wanted to do something that was like steampunk, but mechanical, but like ethereal, like an angel. Oswin Oswald from the new Doctor Who. And we have here one of those nasty Daleks. Exterminate. <laughs> he thinks they're really cool. They're robots that kill people. Um, he loves to make robots. the voice. Oh, sorry. They're octopus people. <laughs> in costume, you can actually be whoever you want. Well, in real life, you're pretty much boring. You can't do this outside. Like People would just give you strange looks. But in here, you're who you are. You're in costume. It's almost empowering. Everybody wears masks every day, let's, let's, let's be honest, but here I'm wearing a mask and people are recognizing it and people are having fun with it and they're enjoying themselves because of me and I'm enjoying myself watching them enjoy me and I'm watching them enjoy their costumes. It's, it's a big community, right? And like any community, you get to know people over time, you get close to them. I like to wear women's clothes, but it's, today I could do it without being hassled. You could be whoever you want to be, it's wonderful. This is actually our first year. Yeah, we saw like the confidence level just like shot up. Yeah, we, we assimilated to yeah, this we're really like quick. jumping into pictures with people that don't even want us. Yeah, people always ask us for pictures. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, look at Iron Man. Made out of boxes. I'm Sarah and... I'm Casey <laughs> and we are Captain America and Carter. Peggy, Peggy Carter. We have an infinity for um, couple costumes. We're actually cosplaying as Amy and Rory separately and met at a convention. It's not unanimous, but we usually like, can come to an agreement eventually. Like, I'll be like, I really want to do this character. And he's like, eh, I don't really want to do that. Yeah, like I really wanted to do a Shredder costume, but she's like, April O'Neil? No. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, I like to have a weapon, generally. <laughs> everyone is a people watcher, so everyone is staring at everyone else constantly and it's perfectly acceptable because you're just admiring the costumes. I love people watching. I love seeing the love of, of either anime or science fiction or anybody's character. You could tell how much heart these people put into it. It's a fun place where you're gonna see something new every second and you're gonna enjoy yourself. We kind of share the same philosophy that cosplayers, we all are part of a universal family and we try to lift each other up. No one hassles you, no one bothers you. You could be whoever you want to be. It's wonderful. I love, I love coming here. It's pure and utter joy. <laughs> this is my Super Bowl. <laughs>